With the semester just starting, the San Diego State campus is bustling with activities. One thing that was on top of mind today for many students was the sexual assault over the weekend by someone a student believed was a rideshare driver. It makes me feel threatened. Graciela Garcia is a freshman at SDSU. As a San Diego native, she commutes to school using public transportation. She says the incident made her more alert when using ride-sharing services. Especially because it was like, it could be coming or going from school. And since I do that every day, it's like, I could be at threat, at, at a threat sometimes too. For senior Anusha Palani Velu, it's about the loss of trust in ride-sharing services. She's used the services to get to and from SDSU for events on campus. Like whether you've been like drinking or something like that, you know, you take a ride share because you trust it that you'll get home safe, right? And so that happening in a ride share is like, it's unimaginable, it's unthinkable. Police say the assault happened on 70th Street in the college area. A student got into a car at an unknown location and was assaulted before they were dropped off. SDSU says University Police and SDPD have increased patrol on campus and the surrounding area with the start of the fall semester. University Police also advise students to use the SDSU Safe app to share the location in real time when using ride-sharing services. Garcia says in addition to letting her boyfriend know her location at all times, she also makes sure that she leaves a hair strand behind or her fingerprints. Because if I'm ever going missing or like Anything my DNA can be traced and it, they, they'll know that it was me and that I was in that situation. So it makes it easier to find me. I always FaceTime friends when I'm walking in places that I don't feel safe in or if I'm in like a sketchy ride share maybe or something like that. I keep friends on the phone while I'm going to places. Officials say you should also trust your instincts and avoid poorly lit areas. Alexander Nguyen, KPPS News.